A groundbreaking study published in Physical Review Letters on March 10, 2025, proposes a new dark matter candidate that may explain mysterious ionization phenomena at the Milky Way's core. Unlike previous theoretical models, this research suggests tracking dark matter through its chemical footprint rather than its gravitational effects. As Sham Balaji from King's College London puts it, we may have been overlooking its subtle chemical effects on the cosmos. This discovery challenges conventional detection methods, offering a potential paradigm shift in dark matter research. In this video, we will explore the ionization mystery at our galaxy center, the proposed dark matter candidate, and how scientists plan to verify this potentially game-changing discovery. At the heart of the Milky Way lies the central molecular zone, CMZ, a dense, turbulent region filled with gas, dust, and intense cosmic activity. This area has long puzzled scientists due to an unexpectedly high level of ionized gas. Ionization, which occurs when atoms lose electrons and become electrically charged, is a common phenomenon in space. However, the ionization observed in the CMZ far exceeds what conventional astrophysical sources can explain. Traditionally, cosmic rays, high-energy charged particles moving close to the speed of light, are considered the primary drivers of ionization in interstellar space. These cosmic bullets collide with neutral atoms, knocking free electrons and creating ionized gas. However, when researchers calculated the expected ionization levels from known cosmic ray sources in the CMZ, the numbers didn't add up. The ionization rate was significantly higher than predicted. Adding to the mystery, gamma ray emissions should accompany cosmic ray-induced ionization, as cosmic rays produce high-energy light when interacting with interstellar matter. However, observations of the CMZ have failed to detect gamma ray emissions at the expected levels, creating a contradiction in standard models. We found ourselves at an impasse, explains Balaji. The conventional explanations were insufficient suggesting something more exotic might be at play. For decades, astronomers have sought ways to detect dark matter, which comprises about 85% of the universe's matter, yet remains invisible. Most detection efforts focus on its gravitational influence or potential nuclear interactions. However, if dark matter can directly affect the ionization state of interstellar gas, it could provide an entirely new observational pathway one that astronomers may already have the tools to explore. This anomaly led researchers to consider an unconventional hypothesis. What if dark matter itself was responsible for this excess ionization? The CMZ is precisely where dark matter is expected to be most concentrated. If dark matter interacts with ordinary matter in ways beyond gravity, potentially through subtle particle interactions, it could be influencing the ionization state of the interstellar medium. To test this idea, Balaji's team meticulously analyzed ionization rates, spatial distributions, and energy profiles. Their findings revealed a pattern that closely aligned with dark matter density, rather than with known stellar processes, supernovae, or black hole activity. If correct, this discovery could open a new detection method for dark matter using astronomical observations rather than underground detectors. The dark matter candidate proposed by Balaji and his team represents a significant departure from traditional models, such as weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, and axions. This candidate is remarkably light, below 1 giga electron volt, GE, making it less massive than a proton. What sets this candidate apart is its self-annihilating nature. When two of these dark matter particles meet, they annihilate, producing an electron and its antimatter counterpart, a positron. These charged particles interact with surrounding gas, contributing to the observed ionization in the CMZ. This annihilation signature is quite distinctive, explains Balaji. Most axion models don't predict significant annihilation into electron-positron pairs 
the way our proposed dark matter does. This provides a unique mechanism for affecting the interstellar medium. The process unfolds in dense environments like the CMZ, where dark matter density is highest. When electron-positron pairs form, the electrons collide with neutral atoms, stripping away electrons and increasing ionization levels. Meanwhile, positrons quickly annihilate with electrons, producing gamma rays and X-rays, which could account for faint emissions detected in the galactic center. Unlike many dark matter models that require speculative physics, this candidate operates within well-established principles. The annihilation process follows known particle physics laws, yet occurs with particles not yet directly detected in laboratory experiments. Another compelling feature of this hypothesis is how well it aligns with observed data. The ionization gradient in the CMZ decreases as one moves outward from the center, precisely as predicted by dark matter density models. This correlation strengthens the case that dark matter, rather than an unknown cosmic ray source, is driving the excess ionization. Moreover, this model suggests that similar ionization patterns should be observable in other galaxies' central regions, but not in their outer regions or in low-density dwarf galaxies. Future astronomical surveys could test this prediction, further verifying the theory. While this dark matter candidate presents a compelling explanation for the CMZ's ionization anomaly, scientific rigor demands multiple independent verifications. The strongest evidence so far is the alignment between observed ionization patterns and expected dark matter distributions. However, further observational data and experimental validation are needed. A key step will be more precise mapping of ionization throughout the CMZ. If researchers can confirm that ionization strictly follows the predicted dark matter density profile, it would strengthen the case for this theory. NASA's upcoming Compton Spectrometer and Imager COSI, set for launch in 2027, is expected to provide critical gamma ray data. COSI's improved sensitivity in the mega electron volt energy range will allow astronomers to test whether the expected gamma ray signatures from dark matter annihilation match observations. COSI will give us unprecedented sensitivity to gamma rays in the right energy range, explains Balaji. If our dark matter candidate is correct, COSI should detect specific patterns of gamma radiation from the galactic center that would be difficult to explain through other means. Beyond COSI, advanced radio telescopes could refine ionization maps, while laboratory experiments may uncover evidence of lightweight dark matter particles interacting with ordinary matter. Additionally, astronomers are examining other galaxies for similar ionization signatures. If this dark matter candidate is universal, its effects should be observable beyond the Milky Way. The implications of this research extend far beyond dark matter detection. If confirmed, it could reshape our understanding of galaxy evolution, star formation, and even planet formation. Ionization levels play a critical role in all these processes, suggesting that dark matter might have been influencing the visible universe in ways previously unrecognized. Skeptics argue that alternative explanations, such as unknown cosmic ray sources or interactions with the galaxy's magnetic field, might still account for the observed ionization. However, the elegant simplicity of the dark matter hypothesis and its ability to explain multiple observed phenomena give it significant appeal. We're at the beginning of what could be a revolutionary new understanding of dark matter, Balaji concludes. The next few years of observations will be critical in determining whether this hypothesis holds up. Thank you for joining this exploration of Dark Matter's newest mystery. If you enjoyed this discussion, please like and subscribe for more cosmic discoveries. The universe is full of secrets waiting to be revealed, and we are just getting started.